Chapter 4. Synthesis and Constraint Entry. In this section of the Radiant Introductory Training Series, the basic constraint creation flow using lattice radiant will be presented. Chapter 4 consists of five sections. In the first section of the chapter, called Constraint Basics, the general flow for constraint creation with radiant is discussed. In section 2 of the chapter, Creating LDC and SDC Constraints with Pre-Synthesis Timing Constraint Editor, Radiant's Pre-Synthesis Timing Constraint Editor is introduced, and how it can be used to create timing constraints. In Section 3 of Chapter 4, called Running Synthesis, Radiant's Task Detail View and Process Toolbar are discussed, as well as how they can be used to run the project flow for a Radiant project. In the fourth section of the chapter, Lattice Radiant Reports, we will discuss Radiant's generated reports. Finally, in the fifth section of the chapter, using Netlist Analyzer, we will introduce Radiance Netlist Analyzer and how it can be used to analyze a design synthesized netlist. Chapter 4, Section 5 Using Netlist Analyzer. In this section of the video series, we will be discussing Radiance Netlist Analyzer tool and how it can be used to view a project synthesized netlist. As mentioned earlier on in the video series, the Active Synthesis tool for a project's implementation determines which tool is used to view a project's synthesized netlist. For projects using LSE as their synthesis engine, Netlist Analyzer is used to view the project's synthesized netlist. For projects synthesized using Simplify Pro, HDL Analyst is used. In this section of the video series, we will be focusing on Radiance Netlist Analyzer tool and how it can be launched, as well as what it is used for. Once a project has completed synthesis, Radiance Netlist Analyzer can be used to view the project's synthesized netlist in terms of RTL and technology components. With that said, there are two ways Netlist Analyzer can be launched. The, the first way is to select its icon from Radiance toolbar, as can be seen from the figure on the slide. The second way to launch Netlist Analyzer is by selecting tools from Radiance menu bar and then Netlist Analyzer from the drop-down list of options that appears. Once Netlist Analyzer has opened, users should see something similar to the figure on the slide. One important thing to remember is that Netlist Analyzer is used for debugging purposes and cannot be used to directly modify a design. Netlist Analyzer consists of two views. Its default view is called RTL and can be seen from the figure on the slide. As can be seen from the example on the slide, Netlist Analyzer's RTL view consists of a few different sections. In the main portion of the window is the current Netlist Analyzer view area. This section of the window displays the synthesized design's netlist in terms of logic gates and components. Netlist Analyzer also supports multi-level hierarchy and can be used to view multiple levels of a synthesized design. On the left side of the window is the list of instances in a project. In this section of the window, the synthesized components for a design are listed and can be used to better understand how a design was synthesized. Selecting an instance from this section will highlight its corresponding component in the main view of the window. On the leftmost side of the window are the RTL and Technology View icons. Selecting either of these icons will open a new Netlist Analyzer tab with that view. With that said, we will now introduce Netlist Analyzer's Technology View. An example of Netlist Analyzer's Technology View can be seen from the figure on the slide. As can be seen from this figure, the sections in this view are similar to those in RTL view. The main section of the window displays the synthesized design in terms of technology components. This view can be used to help users better understand how their design will be implemented on an actual device. On the left side of the window are the list of instances. It should be noted that there will be more instances in this list during technology view, because technology view is more detailed and displays more components than RTL view. Another thing to note is that there are multiple tabs at the bottom of the Netlist Analyzer window. When a new Netlist Analyzer view is selected, it will be opened in a new tab at the bottom of the window. Users can select these tabs to easily switch between Netlist Analyzer's two views. Aside from its two modes for viewing synthesized designs, Netlist Analyzer can also be used to expand modules, filter for specific components, and view netlists in other ways. That concludes this chapter of the introductory training series. To view the next chapter in the video series, select the video called Chapter 5, Map and Par.